Well, we have a story out of Arkansas. Now, we know it's prom season, and a lot of kids go to the prom. My daughter went to the prom, and she wore a dashiki dress. It was very elegant. She got it straight out of Kenya, and I really liked how they put that together for her. Unfortunately, I can't show you the pictures of that because I have too many trolls and the clan watching and all this other stuff, so we're not going to put out too much personal information. But with this story that you have a young lady by the name of Anna Hayes. She wanted to go to prom and she went with a friend and this friend happened to be black. Now they wasn't in no type of relationship. It was just a friend. Now she stated that the guy in her opinion is really nice and he's super cute. So she wanted to go with him and she went. Now she lives with her mother. She don't live with her father, but oh, her father had a problem with that. So let's put it up on the screen. What, the father said to her after he found out that she went to prom with this black young man. The racist dad says, we are done. I won't be coming to your graduation. No, I pay for your college. Go live with the ends. I went to prom with a black guy. So that's a problem. Racist much. He says, yes, I am. You're dead to me. She said, okay, don't ever contact me again. We are through. Go ahead, be a effing, he put whore. Leave me out of it. I'm canceling your phone Monday. You can't do this. I'm done with you. I didn't do anything wrong. Now, this is funny to me. He say, you can't do this. And since you hurt my feelings, how dare you be with a black guy? I will just cut your communication off. This is how they respond when they don't get their way. And I'm going to say something about that as we continue reading. He says, shut the F up. You have no right to talk to me anymore. Go live with the effing N word. Your pictures are already off my walls. You can go to hell. What the F is wrong with you? I'm canceling your phone and your insurance. We are done. You want to mingle with subhumans? I treat you accordingly. Now, my grandmother, bless her heart, love her to death, 82 years old, said something a long time ago about people like this racist prick. She said, be careful, be very careful who you hate because those same people may end up in your family through your children. Now he's acting this way. He's cutting her off. He's acting just a fool. Do you really think that's going to stop her now? It's probably going to make her go to black guys a lot more now because of what you did because one thing i know about women and females in general the more you tell them not to do something the more they're going to do it that's just what i've seen so you need to be careful with that you do better talking to them and maybe showing them the right way but just telling them you not going to do it oh no she's going to do it now now you lost your daughter and i've read comments from other white people who stated that this happened to them but i noticed something it's always the caucasian female that goes through this but not the caucasian male the caucasian male can get with a black woman a hispanic woman asian woman all these different women he can get with but the caucasian female she can't do it or she's a race traitor she's a effing whore she's all these different things i mean and Caucasian women, I think you probably need to address your men with that. And I understood why you need the feminist movement. I just don't like the fact that you brought your problems with your man into our problems within our community. Because we, we've never oppressed our women like that. We've never been in a position. We've been oppressed from the get-go. And we're always fighting to overcome that and be who, all we could be for our community. But... This situation is just real funny to me. I love it. Not for the fact that they're together or anything. I don't care what they do. I tell people that your life, do what you want to do. But I love it because the dad is getting a taste of his own medicine. I know you upset. I know you so upset because in their mind, even though this girl say we were just friends, we I went to prom with him and that's it. In, in his mind, his daughter did all kind of nasty sexual stuff with this Dude, and let me tell you something. They got these same people like him be sitting up there watching pornographic movies with a black man fooling with a white woman. That'd be the same type. I read an article where a Caucasian woman said her husband was actually racist, but she caught him watching a bunch of interracial pornographic movies with the featuring black males, but yet he was racist. 
and I thought that was just quite funny when I read that. The racist one's always worrying about what the black man is doing. And I know it must hurt your feelings, Mr. Racist, that your daughter is not going to talk to you anymore. She probably going to marry a black guy now. I don't know what she's going to do, but now you lost your daughter on you because she didn't act that way with you. Then the killing part about it, she said he wasn't really involved in her life like that. He just saw the pictures. That's it. So you wasn't around your daughter enough to know who her friends were. It says a lot about you. And why are you mad for? You probably would have found that out a long time ago if you was actually in your daughter's life instead of having her over there with her mom. So that's your fault that you know what's going on. But the thing is, a lot of these kids interact with each other. And all that racism and bigotry and, you know, clan and all the other stuff, y'all are dying breed. You really are. People are tired of that mess. Like everybody's tired of it. We 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 sick of your politics. We sick of your thoughts. We sick of your uh, your flags. We sick of all that stuff. Everybody tired of you. I mean, man, can we just get past all this mess and everybody do their thing? No. You always got to bring that mess up. That's why I'm just loving it every day to see when y'all get pissed off like that. I like it. I, I get a kick out of it. You know, because like I said, they they have envy of us as black men. They do because they know good and well. Some of the racist ones, they can't measure up to us. They know if we put a hand on their woman. She going to run off. She ain't going to be with them no more. And I know that pissed them off more than anything. It's like you, you got all the stuff that you got. And yet a black man could touch your woman one time and she out of there. And she ain't going to never want to fool with you ever again. I know you don't like to hear statements like that. I know you don't. But I'm saying it because I know you be watching my channel, uh, the racist and the Ku Klux Klan. I know now. So I'm going to say things like that to piss you off. We could take your woman at any time. And there's nothing you could do about it. And, we, and the thing is, we don't have to rape her to do it. I know you lie and say we're going to rape. No, we don't do that. Your woman will come talk to us. And a lot of black men will tell you that. It's not that we chasing them. Even this girl, she asked him. And they just friends. No, there's nothing wrong with that. But she asked him. He didn't go bother her. He didn't go harass her or tell her to do anything. You need to get out of that behavior and that mentality. People are tired of you. We're tired of you. Even other white people are tired of you. It's just that simple. And a lot of white people also say this much about you. They're sick of you branding yourself as Caucasian. They're sick of that. Every time someone speak up against what you do, you want to say it's anti-white. No, it's anti-stupidity. It's anti-hatred. It's anti-bigotry. They're sick of that. This is what they tell me. So stop claiming yourself to be white. You're not that. I don't know what you are, you, you know, and that's Arkansas. So I can really go that route, but I'm going to leave it alone. The thing is you lost your daughter. I'm glad. Stop being hateful. And maybe they wouldn't happen. Make sure to check out our Advise Media Network Teespring store. Support the show by purchasing merchandise. Also, join us on Patreon for a minimum of $2 a month or $5 per month. We have different levels, and these levels get you certain perks for supporting the show. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this. Share the video, like the commentary, and subscribe for my news stories.